We just wanted to say a very, very, very special thank you. Uh, we cannot express how grateful we are to Robert and Cheryl Brown. We put out a plea recently on our Facebook page asking for your help, your support. Uh, we were in desperate need of wet food, um, bones for our dogs while they are in kennel environments waiting for homes. Um, so we received a case here from um, Robert and Cheryl Brown of wet food. Also, we received two elk uh, antlers for our dogs to chew on while they're in kennel environments waiting again for their forever home. We desperately are in need of harnesses, so we received one, two, three beautiful harnesses along with three life-saving belly bands, one, two, and three. Um, I just wanted to say thank you and to let you know how much we very much appreciate you and your support. Um, when we ask for help and you all pull through, like Robert and uh, Cheryl have done, Robert and Cheryl Brown, I cannot express that it, it uh, gives us the sense that we are not alone, although many times we do feel alone when we're struggling and trying desperately to do what we do. Exactly, great people out there for sure. Um, well, we are disappointed in humanity day in and day out from seeing and viewing the suffering, the abandoned, uh, that the humanity, human race inflict on these voiceless, helpless animals. And we are left to pick up the pieces um, I'm not going to lie to you, there are days that are very trying for us in our organization. And um, today is one of those days after Noah um, and uh, you know him being dumped at a kill shelter, I, I just, the tears that have, have come out of our eyes and strolled down our cheeks, our entire team um, witnessing him being brought back. Um, thankfully he is safe with us and um, I just want to say thank you to Robert and Cheryl for this amazing donation and how grateful we are. Um, we have several other donations that came in. Um, Anna Gardner, who her and her husband adopted our beautiful Rosie. Uh, they came to our uh, fundraiser last night and they donated cases and cases of wet food such as this for our rescues that are in boarding. Uh, the kennels here, the animal hospital charges us for wet food and our dogs primarily love wet food. and. Um, so instead of us going out and having to buy wet food, which takes away from rescues, or having to pay for it here at the cost of the hospital, this saves our organization a lot of money that allows us to save more lives in need. Um, I did come in before I opened up that donation and I wanted to check in on our dogs. And I was gonna take Noah out, but he's sound asleep. Noah is sleeping. kind of dark. There's Noah. There's Helen. And there's my Mortimer, my baby. My sweetness. This is what breaks our hearts right here, guys. Mortimer, waiting for hot wound treatment, rescued from the Miami Dade Kill Shelter. Hi, beautiful girl. And our sweet Noah, who's back safe with us. We, it's okay, mommies. I didn't want to wake anybody up. So I'm running out of battery. I have a weak connection, as usual. But again, just wanted to say a huge shout out, special thank you to this wonderful couple, Robert and Cheryl Brown. We love you, appreciate you. Um, guys, please donate what you can. The wish list is up there with what we desperately need to continue and signing off for now. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.